Hey guys, welcome to the new comic book review. Today we're talking about Dead Man Logan number 12. The final issue, is it the end of Wolverine? We'll find out. Or, not maybe Wolverine, but Old Man Logan, with technically Wolverine as well. So let's see, when we leave off, this one's gonna be probably a little quicker, not too much happens in this. But it is a great conclusion for the series and the characters, so let's jump into it. We got a lot of conclusions to characters, because this book ended, uh, the series has ended, and also uh, Speed of Fire ended. So we got some deaths of characters, a lot of characters. Dying or changing or having great ends for their runs, so yeah. Also, I want to make a good Spear 5 ending. That was actually really good. What I was expecting was good. I'm only saying that because I'm not reviewing it, and I just wanted to quickly say that. But, let's jump into Demon Logan. It starts off with, last, where we last left off, we have uh, Dana is wor is worthy of using Sora's hammer, so now she's dressed up as Sora. So basically, we have a Sora, a Wolverine, and a Hulk, and I know the, uh, which her Wolverine's not as his fullest, but she's like, and then the same is like, well, someone just kill them. And so they get into a big fight. Obviously, not the thing. Uh, Wolverine injects himself with more of the Vexagade. I don't know if that's how you say it, but it's this thing that's kind of keeping him alive or helping him keep alive or his healing factor. Helping with his healing factor. Uh, Sora, and we see Sora, and we see uh, Hulk is just beating the shit out of everybody, all the like, henchmen and stuff. Wolverine is obviously going after Saber Seuss, and they get into a big, like, fight, and it's kind of awesome. I mean, it's cool, it's a cool fight, I'm not gonna lie. Like, this is like, because when you get into this, this is the end. He basically takes Saber Tooth and basically shreds him up into pieces to where he's like nothing. So, yeah, he basically did that. But they also say that he did that before and, and he scattered the pieces, but they all came back somehow. So, it's like, okay. But also, like, I guess when Saber Tooth, in my opinion, is, I guess when Saber Tooth, when this, when Omen Logan happened, when that time when all the villains got together, I guess Saber Tooth was the villain at that point. Because Saber Tooth has. Been a good guy, I think. I think he's a good guy now, I think. He's been a good guy, so it's like, I don't think, I don't know, so it's kind of interesting, but... Oh, he's trying to kill Wolverine? But on the... Isn't he like a guy in comics now? You're probably thinking... I think... Can I just thought of that? Like... Wouldn't... Sabertooth be a good... Saber, well, when... When, like, around when uh, Omen Logan first came out... Was Sabertooth, when was he at that point? Was he a good guy or a villain at that point? I don't know. That might depend on if he is... Would be a villain in this book? Well, I'm not gonna say that he can't be, because, like, he's a good villain, but it's like... Because it feels like he's been a hero at some point. I don't know. He's one of the characters who jumps around. He's probably kind of like my Mia where he's been a hero. Has not been. But then we see after he kills Logan. Uh, basically they're all gone. For the most part. And Wolverine's not doing too high. And then we see Mr. Sinister comes in a wheelchair. With just, like two other goons. A car. And basically this. Dana throws the hammer. And blows his Mr. Sinister's head off. And I'm like. Yes. This book. And also. This. This is also a Brent Advisory book, mind you, so not a book for kids. I said, probably just said that sooner. But I digress, it's not a book for kids. But it is great, and I love it. And this is a great final issue, mind you. Once we get to the, near the end, because we see Wolverine, they take him, put him in the car, and he's like, I gotta get back home. They kind of know where he's going, so they take him back to his family. They got him in the car, they take him back to his family, they take him back. Hey, I need you to help me get out of the car. My legs kind of are walking. They take some more to the grave of his family. Well, I'm like, oh, the grave of his family is still there. And it hasn't been, like, messed up. Or somebody came in and destroyed it. Anything? It's fine. Cool. And they get a talk where he kind of says goodbye to Dana and Hawk, Bruce, and everything. And he's out there. So like, can I be alone? And he says some stuff to his family about... Basically talks to his grave and has a picture and talking to the family. Like, I kind of like what's happened. I, I should have... The fast tuner for you guys, da da da. Cause he kind of just left with Hawk and stuff, and he didn't really fight the Hawk. He's like, I'm not gonna fight. I'm not gonna do this. I'm gonna just be, you know, a family. I'm not gonna be my powers and fight these guys. But if he did, maybe they would have been alive. It uh, gets the whole thing, and it's really great. It's a really great like scene of him talking about his family and stuff. By grave and he's dying, and every it's just really great. And he goes and like touches this and does a thing with his like hand on the thing, and he goes to collapse, and he's come. Is it? It is a great scene that I'm not going to talk about much other than he does pass. I'm not going to say what happens, like the wording or what he says or whatever. That you gotta move yourself because that's really just great and he just collapsed. And then we cut to him and he's lying there crying in a face like to white. It's like, oh shit, there's like a crisis going on. He gives when you fade to white. I'm like, how, how are you fading to white? That's kind of confusing to me, but the fade of white. I understand because he's dying and stuff and probably he's seeing it like as he's dying. And they kind of show it on the cover too, that kind of fatal fight. But I'm like, oh shit, the universe is being like reset. I'm like, oh my fist, I'm like, hey, the universe is being reset, so maybe you're not dead. But no, nah, it's just that thing that said like he's dying, so they did that. It was fine. And then we cut to, we see now four graves. 
Uh, so obviously they buried him and then they go off to uh, they go now we go off and it's like what do we do now it's like don't be sad Dana we don't have each other so they go off and then they do what we can to keep fighting we're gonna go find someone to call home and probably really help people come for nice people so yeah I'm assuming he still has the camera it doesn't really show it because after he gets in the car and he drives to this place they don't really show her in a like suit or hammer anymore so I'm kind of like Okay, so you see, like, a. Does he still have the hammer? I'm assuming he does, because I don't think he would just go away like that. Maybe it went away. Oh, we didn't go away after the kills one, but yeah. But then they could just drive off and that point, and then they had this thing. In the end, in the back called Daily Bugle, uh, the memorial of Old Man Logan was kind of a nice little thing they did in the back. They're doing in the back of comics, so that's great. But they put a great conclusion to the book. I like it. Ending one of a long thing DC. I keep saying DC, not Marvel. Marvel character who's been around for a long time. He was in the Marvel Universe for a good chunk, like a good like 50 issue run. So he's been around. That's like, and if one issue came out a month, but I don't know if one issue came out a month, but if one issue did come out a month, that's like a lot of. That's a lot. That's a lot. So, Deadman Logan number 12. What do we think of this book? It is, like I said, fantastic. Great ending to the series. It's a great send off for the character that would. This is a character I don't think will. Probably not gonna get again. There are ways we could, but I don't think. I think this is like this is this character's end. Like he's gone. We're not getting him back. Usually for comic books, it's like, oh, characters come back. And like, this is one of those instances of he's gone. He's probably not coming back ever. I'm gonna give it like this is a one percent chance. I'm only saying one percent. And even that's like directly because who knows? Somehow he could come back with some other things, or it could be like he comes back a different version of him. Like from a different point, and just uh, there's so much stuff. It's like you never know. So it's like, but anyway, this is a great ending. I give this a straight up ten. Like for endings, I quite I enjoyed. It was a great ending for the character that we finally got to see his banana conclusion. It was great, um, great. Not the greatest ending of all time, but for him, it's like no. This is what I was expecting for an ending. Him going back to his family and stuff. I kind of figured that's where he was gonna go, want to be buried and stuff. So it's just a, it's a freaking great book. It's probably your main series. This probably your main series has been great. Or technically, I guess a Mac series, but I enjoyed this. So, what do you guys think of this book? Let me know in the comments down below what you saw at the end of this book. You guys can always stay up and see you next week, guys. Bye.